G'day everyone, it is the Captain, welcome back to the channel. Big thank you of course to each and every one of you that like and subscribe to these videos and you share them with your mates, your pals, your buddies, your compadres. That group that went down to the local police station and performed one of these videos as a live action. Thanks very much for that high five. Uh, today we're looking at a fraudulent, she's a new one to this scene and uh, well let's just say she is wilder than a horse on heroin this one and uh, just lock yourselves in because it gets crazy pretty damn quick. Now, uh, before we get underway, you will see some of her riding where she's trying to justify what she's up to on her videos. Couldn't edit around that, so just uh, just put up with it, the same way we have to put up with all this bull stuff. All right, let's get straight into the video. Let's do it. Uh. Yikes. <laughs> I would not want that running into me. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Got it. <laughs> More cars here. They're everywhere. Maybe there's court today and they're all at court. Are there people in there? Nope. Just empty. Okay. You can tell that it's not the first time she's ever had to go up to the driver's window of a car before, is it, eh? But normally she's used to haggling on price for entry to her hooded warrior tunnel. That's how that normally works. Look, uh, she doesn't want that thing running into her. I bet you if it was rammed into her on the other hand, she'd be a big fan of that. Just saying, that's what I've heard. I saw it on the internet. Hi. Let's get into the courthouse. These dudes are probably... Undercover. Yep. He's trying to be all cool. I know you're a cop, dude. I know you're a cop. Yep, you came out to watch me. Peace. Right, I think this is it. I think this is from the building, finally. <laughs> Please don't tell me I'm at the back. Why does it sound like every statement she's made so far is the exact same statement a hooker would make to themselves before leaving a public restroom before starting a night shift. I don't know, maybe it's my mind. Maybe I've lived through too much and uh, I don't know, but it just, it sounds right, doesn't it? If you were, think about it, if you were a hooker, this would be the same stuff you'd say to yourself, surely. Oh, for God's sakes, where is it? <laughs> All right, this is the courthouse. Really big, the city of Allentown. That's a pretty building. All that old wood and everything. Very cool. All right, we're doing another courthouse. Allentown Courthouse. Here we go, let's see how this goes. Just gonna blur out this bit because she does a bit of a shout out to some of her subscribers. So. Penis pumping Patty here, uh, she gets inside, she goes over some of the mistakes that she thinks she's made leading up to this uh, fraud today. Honestly, I think she's taken too many heat-seeking moisture missiles to the face and it's kind of made her a bit loopy. I wonder how many windows she's licked today, by the way. Oh, the snozberries taste like snozberries. Mm -hmm. And I made so many mistakes. I didn't follow the cop outside. I didn't get close up when they followed me and circled the parking lot for 40 minutes. I'm back in City Hall. Where is the courthouse? It's next door. There? Yeah, behind Okay, thank you. I am like all over the place. That's okay. <laughs> all right, she is so nice. She really is. I met her earlier when I came in here, but there was nothing going on. Oh, <laughs> you dumb fuck. You said that you're there for an audit, so why would it matter if you're in a courthouse, a library, or any other government building? If you're there just to do a, a First Amendment audit like you're claiming, wouldn't you go with, you know, where you are? Or have you got other things up your, up your sleeve, young lady? I think you do. Just from all the walking. And when you're in the city, well, I'm in the city and I don't know it here. I know Bethlehem, but I don't know Allentown. Ugh. And I'm sweating to death. It's really, really hot out. 
trust me, you don't want to see my face, I'm a mess. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Nice uh, blue line t-shirt on, dude. Did she just assume that guy's, uh, that guy's job? I think she did. This is the second time this video she's assumed something. You're not allowed to assume anymore in this modern world. Uh, there's all these, you get cancelled. That's how these things work. Right, you start assuming things, next minute you get cancelled. Like for instance, I assume that the singer Pink thoroughly enjoys sending me photos and videos of her in the shower. I think and I assume she loves it. Otherwise, she wouldn't keep sending them to me, would she? No. I'm gonna throw this out there. This is what happens when you go unchecked by friends, okay? Your friends should check in with you all the time and make sure you're okay. I assume, here we go, I'm gonna assume something here, that she has so many male friends that just wanna fuck her that they just let her talk. And they don't really pay attention to what she's saying, they just, oh yeah, whatever, show us your titties. And I'm, oh, that's what I reckon's happened here. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> oh, it feels so good in here, I was so sweaty. From citizens to soldiers. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, this is it. Employee only entrance. Oh, I guess I have to come over here. Excuse me? Are you recording? Yes. You cannot record in this building. Oh, yes, I can. No. <laughs> okay, she's calling a supervisor. We didn't even get in yet. <laughs> <sighs> Woo, I'm sweating to death. It's so hot outside. You guys are lucky. You're just sitting in air conditioning. I'm not. <laughs> sweating to death. Almost like a spit roast, eh? Hey, hey, hey. Now, if anyone out there is thinking, oh, I'm just picking on her because she's female and we're led to believe that she's female. You've obviously never heard this channel or seen this channel before, have you? I pick on men, women, ducks, whatever, right? If you're a brain-dead fortiter or a sovtard, I'm fucking gunning for you, right? If you're a complete nut of spaz in real life, I'm coming for you. Now, they're calling the supervisor sweat checks because they know that, like most frauditors out there, you don't understand normal human interaction. Kind of like how a trained dolphin needs a handler to tell them what to think and do. That's how we look at frauditors. Well, it is a beautiful building. Hopefully we get to look at it. <laughs> I drove a really long way to get here. It took me 45 minutes to get here. Hi. Take your recorder outside, okay? Why? There's a because there's actually signs all over the place that you can't record in the government buildings here. According to what law, ma'am? Um, I'll go find it for you. That'd be great. Sure, but you're gonna step outside first, and then I'm gonna find it for you. No, I'm not gonna step outside. I'm gonna stay right here. Well, then you're gonna stop recording. No, I won't. This is a constitutionally protected activity, ma'am. I'll tell you what actually is a protected activity. You guys out there know what it is. I know what it is. And very soon, this young lady's going to know what it is. That's right. The most protected act that a frauditor or a softard can go through is fuck around and find out. Oh, step up to the plate, you Vegemite vagina. You're going to enjoy this. I just did Doylestown Courthouse, my dear. They didn't give me a problem at security. What's that? I'm not your dear. I'm Lieutenant Robin. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess you need to learn the law and remember that constitution you swore an oath to. <sighs> you know, it, I don't understand it. When do they lose it? They remember their oath when they get out of the academy and they swear an oath to uphold the constitution and our rights. So when, do, how many years does it take for them to stop caring? Blah, blah, fuck stick, you're a fucking fool. Fake laws, dumb scripts, jail cells are full. Oh, that's a lovely poem. I just wrote that. Hopefully you all enjoy that too. You can have that. You can sing that at home if you want. You sing it to your kids so they don't grow up to be fuckwits. That would be, so how I do it with my kids. I sing it to them every night. It's crazy. 
How many years did it take for them to forget the oath they swore to the Constitution? And they're trying to stop me from conducting a First Amendment activity. I'm covered by five different ways just in the First Amendment. Oh, we'll watch this over here. <laughs> Where are all these signs I keep hearing about that are posted nowhere? I'd be waiting around. And Fuck me, the last time I had to deal with a mouth like this, it had a fucking hook in it. Oh. Look, signs are all over the place. You've had them pointed out to you many times in the past. Just because you choose to believe they're not there doesn't mean they're not there. Like, I choose to believe that your parents used to tie meat around your fucking neck. Just so the dog would play with you. Tucked away in and around. Oh, let's see if. Oh, nope, they're employee. They walk right in. They could have a gun. They could have mace. They could have who knows what. But it's okay. Just walk right in. You guys are awesome. Yep, I am right here recording. That's correct. This is how it works when you don't have a camera. Well, no shit. Here's an interesting fact. You know when she goes to put on lipstick, it keeps backing down the tube? Like, honestly, she couldn't keep a dildo stiff, this poor thing. Anyway, look, Ted Bundy was once said on record when he was asked about sovtards and fortitudes, and he said, look, I wouldn't fuck him. I wouldn't kill him. Not even I am that fucking sick, okay? Just leave it at that. This is how it should have been for me. It will be. Maybe the chief will know the law. Have you called your supervisor, ma'am? Are, are you not speaking to me or... <laughs> oh yeah, she will be. <laughs> we all know what's coming next. That's right, you can see the police over there coordinating with the head coach. The coach has gone, right, we have this fraud at her. She wants to play a bit of fuck around and find out. This is what I need from you. I want you to have a good game. I want you to get in there tough. I don't want you to take any shit. I want you to go straight to her and say, right, this is how the game's played. Would you like to play? And if you get the okay, fucking we're playing the game. All right, let's do it. Let's see what they decided and yes. figured out between five cops. Yeah, are you going to stop? Pardon me? Are you going to stop recording? Absolutely not. Okay, so if you're not going to stop recording, you're going to be detained and you're going to be charged uh, by the county detectives. With what? For recording in a courthouse in a government building. I'm not in a courtroom. We're not going to stand here and I argue can, with you. Ma'am, you're not even trying to have... I'm a human being, so are you. One time you're a public servant. You work for us. We asked you multiple We're the times public to turn it off. is the boss of you. You're not the We've boss of me. We asked you multiple times to turn it off. Stand hands behind your back, ma'am. We asked you multiple times. Boom! That's right. Welcome to the game of fuck around and find out. You've just won yourself a set of silver bracelets and a trip to our local holding cell. I hope you enjoy your stay. And for those that are watching at home, just when you think you've seen it all, from fuck around and find out, we finally get to see it from the player's perspective once they've made it to the cells. This is an interesting one. seen it from the player's perspective we saw the coach's perspective not that long ago now we get to see the player's perspective about what happens at the end of fuck around and find out apparently you just sit in a holding cell filming yourself cry that it appears to be a, the detective made me watch my own video like a 
Look at Meanie! <laughs> Please support my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> and you can visit me on Patreon and my OnlyFans. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you fucking dickhead. <laughs> Well, that is it. We have come to another end of a video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave us some comments as well. Enjoy reading through your comments. And don't forget, you can scoop me an email anytime you want. You'll see the email in the description below. If I get one more dick pic, I'll have one whole dick pic. <laughs> Please don't send me him. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> well, that's it. That's, uh, that, that, that's all I got. I, uh, I haven't got... I haven't got much more much more to tell you. It's um it's been night, I guess. Should probably take the bins to the to the curb or whatever. But um you know Is it bin night? I don't know, actually. Fuck. When's bin night? Shit. Fuck when hang on. What's the lay? Fuck. When is bin anyway. Fuck. This bit's gone a bit too long, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hurry.